Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. So I have a Frances Bean Cobain makeup tutorial for you guys today. If you guys don't know who she is, she is Kurt Cobain and Courtney Love's daughter. She's also absolutely freaking gorgeous. So I wanted to do a makeup tutorial on her kind of signature makeup. So that's what this is. And this is also just grungy inspired. Grunge is kind of super on trend right now. So yeah, I don't know. This is my inter well it's not really my interpretation of a grunge tutorial because I'm basically just mimicking her makeup but if you guys wanted to see me do a grunge tutorial then please keep watching. So first I'm just taking the Urban Decay D Slick and spraying that on my face and I'm taking the Becca Evermatte Poreless Primer Perfecta and I'm just rubbing that onto all the places I get willy. For primer, I'm using the Smashbox Pore Minimizing Primer. Honestly, you guys, I don't really like this primer. It doesn't do a whole lot of anything for my face, but it was expensive, so I'm going to use it. I'm just patting that all over my skin. To prime my eyeballs, I'm using the Milani Eyelid Primer, and I'm just rubbing this onto my lids. Honestly, Frances Bean has some dark ass intense eyebrows, which I kind of like, but it's not really how I normally fill in my brows, but I'm going to, you know, try to... What's it called? I'm going to try to mimic how she does her brows. Okay, anyway, so I'm using the Anastasia Dip Brow Pomade in Ebony, and I am putting that on the ends of my brows, and I'm really emphasizing the arch and kind of overly filling them in. And I'm bringing some of that dip brow towards the front of my brows, but I'm going to be filling that part in mainly with a different dip brow shade. This is the Anastasia Dip Brow Pomade in Taupe. This is what I normally use, but today I'm just going to be using it in the front, and I'm just feathering out that front with that Dip Brow Pomade shade, and then I'm bringing a little bit of it into the arch just to blend the taupe and the ebony shade together, and then I'm going into the MUA Undress Palette and taking that brown shade, and I am just putting that in the front of my brows and feathering it out with a sponge tip applicator. To highlight my brow bone, I'm using the Anastasia Brow Duality in Mac Camille and Sand Shimmer, and then to carve out the tops of my brows, I'm using the Urban Decay 24-7 Concealer Pencil in CIA, and I'm just blending that out with a small concealer brush and then I'm blending it out with a big concealer brush. To set them brows I'm using the Benefit Gimme Brow in light medium. For the eyes I'm going into the Lorac Unzipped Palette. I'm taking the shade Unspoken. I'm just applying this to my lid with my DBA Beauty what is this brush? The Tapered Blender Brush. I'll have all the products listed down below. I'm just applying this and also blending it out at the same time. And I'm switching between this brush and the MAC 224. And I'm just, just blending and applying this brown shade. It's super, super easy. I'm going into the Lorac Pro Palette and taking that black shade and I'm just smoking out my lash line with it. And this is a CVS eyeliner brush. It does not have a brand on it. It just says eyeliner and it looks like that. And I'm going to be basically blending that out. I really just put that there because I'm going to be applying lashes and I don't want the band to be super obvious. And then I'm going into the Sephora It Palette and I am taking the white shade and I'm just highlighting my brow bone with it. And then I'm going and I'm taking my NARS eyeliner in Via Veneto or Via Veneto. I don't know how to pronounce it and I am just tight lining with it. Then we're going in with the Maybelline Lash Sensational, and I'm just applying this to my upper lashes. These are the Ardell 110 lashes, and I'm just applying these off camera. And then there was some glue, like, showing on the lash band, and that is one of my biggest pet peeves, is when people have glue on their lash band or on their just eyelids and stuff ugh, from their lashes. So I'm just going over the glue with my Rimmel Glamorize liquid liner, and then I'm taking the Maybelline Fit Me, and I'm just dotting this all over my face and blending it out with the Real Techniques Miracle Complexion Sponge. I'm taking my NYX HD Concealer and Lavender and highlighting my under eyes with this. I'm doing it in like a triangular shape like I normally do and I am blending it out with the Real Techniques Miracle Complexion Sponge. 
When I was looking at pictures of Frances on Google, I didn't really notice that she had anything on her waterline. Um, so I'm just going to be putting my NYX Wonder Pencil in light on my waterline. And then I'm taking the e.l.f. HD Concealer in Lavender and my MAC Pro Longwear and I'm just mixing them together. And I'm applying that to my under eyes, my forehead, and my chin. And down the bridge of my nose, but I forgot to do that. And then I did it after I blended everything out. Um, so yeah, I'm just highlighting further with these. Breaking out like a beast lately, so I gotta cover up them pimply pimples. So I'm covering them up with the Physicians Formula Concealer X Concealer, and when you use those tapping motions, it gives you more coverage. How freaking gross does my Becca Low Light Sculpting Perfector look? It looks freaking disgusting but I'm just gonna be drawing a line diagonal down for my ears and then bringing it up like drawing it upwards and then I'm gonna be blending it out with my MAC 130 this brush is basically the elf small stipple brush but it's better made so yeah I'm just blending that out in upward circular motions This is the Milani Brown Eye Highlighter in Taupe and Vanilla. I'm just drawing a line down the bridge of my nose with this, and then I am blending it out with my Sigma... What is this called? It is right next to me. Uh, it's the Sigma 3D HD Precision, and yeah, I'm just blending that out. For liquid highlighter, I'm using the NYX liquid highlighter in Sunbeam and I'm just putting this on my cheekbones down the bridge of my nose and my cupid's bow. For added coverage and to set everything, I'm using the Laura Geller Bounce and Brighten in Porcelain on an e.l.f. powder brush. This is the Manic Panic Extra White Virgin Press Powder and I am just putting this underneath my eyes, on my forehead, and my chin to further highlight. I didn't really notice that Frances like had any blush on her cheeks or anything so I'm just going to be contouring and I'm taking the NARS Blushing Contour Duo in Olympia and I am just putting that on my cheekbones and blending it upward onto my temples and putting a little bit of it underneath my nose to contour. Going back into the Lorac Unzip Palette, I actually pointed it the wrong shade. I took Unspoken again and I am just putting that underneath my lash line. Frances has crazy pretty lashes, so I'm taking the Maybelline Lash Discovery and I'm just applying this to my bottom lashes. To highlight, I'm taking the Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector in Moonstone and I'm just putting that on my cheekbones, down the bridge of my nose, and my cupid's bow. I'm going to set all that work with the Urban Decay D Slick and then I'm taking the Jordana Lip Liner in Plush Plum. I use this thing all do tan. It's like my favorite lip liner ever and I'm just aligning my lips with it. This is the NARS Matte Lip Pencil in Cruella. This is actually the Sephora birthday gift this year and I was in there and my birthday is not till July, but I was like, hey, can I have my birthday gift? And they were like, sure. So yeah, I freaking love this thing. I think I'm gonna get the full size once I run out. But then I'm setting my face with the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Powder in Ethereal Light. And that is the finished look, you guys. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. I think that Frances Bean's face is like totally uh, beautiful. So <laughs> that's why I did a tutorial on it. I hope you guys like this, like this video if you like this video subscribe it makes me happy and I hope you guys are having a beautiful day bye